G'day, Brett here from Ghost Wines. Today we're gonna to get to the bottom of sulfur in wine and why it's used. So basically, all wine has got sulfur in it as part of the wine making process. It's only uh, added later on in the process uh, with, with uh, some wine makers. And the reason it's added is so the wine tastes fresher when it gets to you uh, and it acts as an antioxidant. So 2000 years ago, the Romans first came up with uh, putting sulfur candles within wine barrels and they found that the wine lasted a lot longer and didn't have any funky bacterial flavours because uh, once you start getting those flavours within the wine and uh, the bacteria starts to work against the wine, you get some very unpleasant tastes and that's why um, I've had some organic wine that tastes really bad and uh, the reason is that it's uh, started to oxidise and uh, it gets th those really funky flavours that aren't very, aren't very nice and terrible smells. So the whole, whole thing with wine is that um, uh, we've got 200 um, parts per million that uh, is allowed in Australia with uh, sulphur within wine and um, that compares to 3,000 uh, parts per million with apricots. So it's a lot less than apricots, so that just gives you a bit of an indication of that it's not overly high generally. Now, um, the best thing about our wine is it's low sulphur, but we have to add just that little bit of sulphur so uh, it doesn't get those funky, funky flavours to it and uh, that real kind of, um, really kind of like a toe smelling flavour which is uh, very unpleasant and uh, as you know we don't want any of that within our wine. So this is what we've, uh, we've got um, 32 parts per million within our wine generally. So our Pinot Gris which is there, it's 32 parts per million and this one will work out to be about 25 parts per million, that's our Sauv Blanc. So very low levels of sulphur and that's only enough just to keep that bacteria at bay um, to, uh, to last the distance for it to get to you. Now, there's some bad winemakers out there and bad wine and um, what happens is within the process sometimes they get like formaldehyde or all these bad flavours and smells within the wine and uh, what they try and do, some winemakers will put, add a lot more sulphur to that wine to mask those smells and flavours. And that's what sulphur dioxide can do. It can mask those flavours. Then, um, so you can co they, they can cover those, those up. So then what we've got is some people go, well, okay, well, I can still buy some bad wine. I'll just get some sulphur drops and put it in there. Well, we don't recommend that. And the reason we don't is that that uh, is basically you're putting peroxide in your wine and peroxide is an oxidant so that oxidizes the wine and um, really you don't really want to really put another chemical within your wine like peroxide is not the best chemical to be having and uh, it's what they use for rockets and uh, all that stuff so um, we recommend you might as well get a really good quality wine like ghost wines and, uh, and have low sulphur to start with and then uh, you won't have any problems and you'll wake up as bright and sparky in the morning. So thanks for the time for listening to me and we'll see you later.